Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at Super 7. They sent over an early advanced look at their upcoming MMPR Ultimates wave featuring Lord Zed, and not just Lord Zed, of course, we have Lord Zed's chair. <laughs> Of course we do. Not a chair, of course. It's Lord Zed's throne. And it's a pretty epic throne, I will tell you that. Not much to do about the packaging, but on the backside, you get to see the figure sitting in the chair, holding his monster bomb. You get the idea. The actual Lord Zed figure himself comes in that usual MMPR packaging. It's a slipcase cover, and you get to see everything that the box and figure entails, right? So you got lots of accessories and whatnot, all having to do with the ferocious, menacing Lord Zed. You even get his pet snake that's really the staff. Whatever. Anyways, on the back side, you get, again, the usual. You get a nice photo of Lord Zed. I like how on the packaging, they're using the actual photos from the show. I dig that. And then you get to read up all about Lord Zed and all his nonsense, right? So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the latest Super 7 MMPR Ultimates Wave featuring Lord Zed and Lord Zed's Throne. And while I got all you monsters of the week here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like a, a weirdo in a tube and metal bikini. Anyways, you have Lord Zed all out of the packaging along with his throne. So, just to kind of reiterate, these are two separate instances. Two separate purchases. One's a throne, one is the figure. Throne comes with nothing. Just an FYI, it's just the throne and then of course if you get the ultimate version of lord zed yes you get all the head portraits and hands and the snake and speaking of which that's a cool accessory and it's one of those where you think super seven watches the show they pay attention what kind of accessories can we include how about the snake when you first see him and it turns into the staff right the z staff that's cool. And it's painted nicely. There's not a lot to it, but at least he holds it, and it totally reminds me of the scene, right? Flashes, and then the snake turns into the Zed staff, or... <laughs> Power Rangers is such nonsense, but you get the idea, right? Looking awesome. Now, the hands are very expressive hands, and that is something that I like to see if you're going to give us a multitude of hands like Super 7 has done. All of them are painted nicely. They all have a really nice silver amidst the red plastic. At least the fingertips are all painted silver this time. You know what I mean? Other companies don't like to do that. Super 7, they did it. Now, you do get the monster bombs, whereas Rita would throw her staff, Zed, through these bombs. <laughs> because he has to throw something, right? They can't just grow on their own. But I do like that you get three of them. That's nice to see. And yes, he has plenty of hands to hold said monster bombs and enough articulation to look like he's tossing them down to earth, right? So the extra head portrait, this is one of those where Super 7 kind of does that, where it's the exact same head portrait. And I really wish that maybe it could have had some kind of glowing effect. Something like that would have been nice because I'm going to assume... It's a head portrait that resembles the old toy version where it's a light red to a dark red visor. That's the only difference. The paint within the grill could have been a little bit better. Could have been a little bit more straight. The brains are nice. It's an extra head portrait. Along with the Z staff, which much like the Megazord, has a really nice silver paint to it. It's very reflective. It looks fancy. And when you have him holding the Z staff, which... That is the main accessory for Lord Zed with all those extra expressive hands. You can really bring this guy to life on your shelf. But you need a good chair, right? So you have the throne. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is an inexpensive throne. <laughs> I'm assuming because they didn't make that many 
It's very hollow. It's got great detail, right? But it's very light. Like I said, it's very hollow. It has a minimal amount of paint on the gargoyles. It has their red eyes. And then you have a little bit of a wash to it to kind of bring out the depth and the feel and make it look like a Power Rangers prop and a really cool, expensive piece on your shelf. The backside's got the Z. The underside, not much going on. But I gotta tell you, for the $45 price point for just the throne, that's a tough pill to swallow. If there would have been extra head portraits, hands, something like that. Now, in all honesty, on the flip side of things, while it is expensive, if you're not collecting Super 7's Power Rangers, maybe you're a Hasbro, maybe you're a Bandai Power Ranger enthusiast, and you'd like to get this thrown for those figures. Well, we'll test out the Lightning Collection, and I'll show you exactly what fits. But yeah, the throne aside, in looking at Lord Zed, and much like the Megazord, I'm happy to say they've done another great job with this new wave of MMPR Ultimates. The things that I look for, I don't want to see loose joints. I want to see better paint, which they have improved greatly. But right here, and this would be a nitpick, it's a little bit gappy between his hips and the rest of the figure. Now, I would have preferred the joints that you could pop the legs up a little bit and then drop down the hips when you want to put him in the chair because as it is now you will have no problem sitting him in the chair right but in standing him upright yes it does look a little bit too gappy for what the character for what the figure should entail he does have some thigh which you could kind of uh, not really, no. It's just not going to work. You're going to have that gapitude between that. Is it a huge problem? No. But it's something that I feel could have been worked on just a little bit better. Now, in looking at the silver that makes up his really weird tubish bikini, right? It's very cool. I definitely dig that. I like how you can move them around at your leisure. It's not like you're going to snap anything, break anything. There's enough tubature to then use the articulation where you're not stretching anything out. The arms will go all the way out. He does have a wash to his filleted flesh. That was always so weird. It's a kid's show, God's sakes. On his little Hellraiser slippers down at the bottom, there is a little bit of a white wash, little specklature to just kind of bring out a little bit more detail. Everything is very crisp, and that's what I want to see because a lot of times lately with some of these Super 7 figures, We've been getting some slopola, and it doesn't work when you have that fancy price point, if you know what I mean. But there is no loose joints as well. That's a plus. The Megazord didn't have them. Lord Zed didn't have them. We're two for two, baby. I don't think we have to worry about the throne, fingers crossed. But the head articulation is pretty nice. I totally dig it. And I will say swapping the heads is a lot better too. You kind of get hung up on his spinal cord right there with the head if you want to put it back. But the arms go all the way up. They go off to the side. And like I said, the tubes don't hinder anything. Bicep, single jointed elbows. Doesn't spin, doesn't, no, doesn't spin or rock at the elbows. And then plenty of wrist articulation. Nothing really heated up here for this guy. Nice abs, nice waist. Again, when you want to put him in the throne, you got plenty of articulation there because the parts of his metal exoskeleton work with you to dip into those extensive hips. Single jointed knees and you've got some feet, a little bit of rock, peg holes on the bottom. It's a decent amount of articulation for a guy that basically just sits there or then looks over his balcony and throws bombs at the earth, right? <laughs> But you need a chair for this, right? We need to see exactly how Lord Zed fits in the old throne. And this is where the coolness happens. A lot of times when I talk about Spider-Man the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, this is a perfect rendition of now the Fox Kids Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Lord Zed. That is epic. But yeah, it's going to set you back a pretty penny, right? I guess you're paying for the premium, right? To have it look that good. And good it does look. Now, in terms of matching it up with, say, the Green Ranger or Rita Repulsa, the other figures from MMPR Ultimates by Super 7, those go fantastic. I think that that looks great. Rita scales nicely. The Green Ranger, it all poses nicely. And speaking of Rita and Zed with how that couple happened and everything on the show. Yeah, 
If you want to go that route, they look good together. Or if you want to go first appearance of Lord Zed, throw Rita into a dumpster, you can do that. That'd be something cool for Super 7 to make. Now, in terms of the Power Rangers, Lord Zed is roughly their height, but his little zia corn thing at the top of his crown yeah that'll give him a little bit extra height but they do go well together and for those of you wondering because i know you're out there no this throne really won't work with the power rangers because you can't get the legs up as high as you can with lord zed now in terms of the heights with the megazord and or evil space aliens like king sphinx no, Lord Zed and Megazord, they're not supposed to line up. But I would say that's a good height differential between Lord Zed and King Sphinx, even though that never happened on the show, as far as I can remember. But it's fun to see Lord Zed with a throne and then all the monsters behind him, right? Well, how about I just show you that? So, from Super 7s to Hasbro to Bandai, it's just a very epic thing to have Lord Zed on this throne in front with all the monsters and Rita and everything else. And just to show you some other Lord Zeds from my MMPR collection, you have the original Lord Zed, of course, by Bandai. You have the Lightning Collection by Hasbro. And then you have the more kid line, the more recent Power Rangers line by Hasbro as well. When the Lightning Collection and Hasbro figure for Lord Zed came out, I thought it was pretty cool, although he's missing a little bit of paint. I did not get the updated version, but I am liking Super 7's version better because of the red skin tone. I think that that works a whole heck of a lot better. And if you were wondering, because again, I know you're out there, some of you Green Ranger throne people, yes, if you wanted to just get this throne itself and put your Hasbro Lord Zed on the throne, you can definitely do that. And I think it fits rather nicely and one more before we go because i know again some of you are out there and this one is actually for me because i wanted to see but yes the bandai power morphicon exclusive from some years ago lord dracon uh, will fit on the throne how cool is that so if you missed that throne which they did have a throne years back and it was expensive too keep that in mind but now you have a second chance at getting a cool throne or your Power Ranger enemies. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Super 7 MMPR Ultimates, Lord Zed and Lord Zed's Throne. It's an expensive combo, let's be honest. But you are paying for a much higher grade of quality, I will say, when looking at prior releases of Lord Zed. This is probably the closest you can get to Lord Zed reigning overall sitting in his throne but yes it will definitely cost you a little bit of a pretty penny but the end result on your shelf well it does look pretty darn good but you have heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything mmpr ultimates and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember have the happiest of thanksgivings eat until you're full have a great time with your family and we'll catch up again on friday when we do let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.